<laughs> you know that meme that's like when your therapist asks how you're doing and you're like <laughs> Hello, what is up? I'm Kitty Bang and welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here Subscribe to join our family. We're pretty cool. If I do say so myself. If you're not new here, thank you for being part of our family. I appreciate you. I have a hood on today because it's like raining outside and I live in Arizona. That does not happen a lot. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put a hood on. And like subconsciously, this is like a greeny color. My eyes are kind of green. So I was like, kind of makes them look greener, but like it, it doesn't look like that right now. Anyways. This is a lighthearted intro for the Katie you are about to see in a minute when it switches the screen because my cat got hit by a car and then she broke her leg and had her hip dislocated and it was an ordeal. So because of that, I documented the whole process of her having her leg amputated. Okay, so pretty much what happened for a little backstory is my kitty cat got out, Bridget. She thinks she's a dog. She always runs out the door with the dogs and I train dogs, so I'm letting them out and in a lot. And she got out and didn't come back. I lost it. I've had this cat since I was 13. I picked her up. My dad and my boyfriend were like, if the surgery is over $2,000, you need to put her down. I go in, they're like, oh, she'll be fine. You won't have to put her down. They give her x-rays and they're like, the ex you're gonna have to spend $6,500. I'm saving up for a house. So when that happens, you have to make sure your credit's good and you can't open up a line of credit. And then also I couldn't take it out because I need to show the down payment. So I was literally in a pinch. I was like, I don't know what to do. And everyone was like, you have to put her down. So then I was texting Maddie Smith, who has a YouTube channel about animals and was very good on it. I was like freaking out and I don't like, I just thought to text her and I was like, I don't know what to do. And she's like, start a GoFundMe. You have a platform for a reason. Like everyone will donate. This isn't your fault. And I was so scared to do it. And I didn't know what the response was going to be like, but I listened and I did. And because of that, everyone that donated to that saved her life. So not only am I extremely grateful and taken aback from the fact that like people cared enough about Bridget to help save her life, but it's just amazing to me like that strangers are so nice and it really gives you hope and humanity. Here's her recovery story. This is, <laughs> I look like a rat. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kitty Bing and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> you know that meme that's like when your therapist asks how you're doing and you're like, <laughs> I don't know what this video is gonna turn into at all. <laughs> my heart's absolutely broken right now. Um, This is Zesty. Hi Zest. My gray cat, Ragdoll Bridget, my first cat ever, she got outside with the dogs and jumped the fence, went into the main road, got hit by a car. The neighbors picked her up, kept her for a week, finally found that they had her, got her today, and her both of her hips were dis dislocated and her femurs were broken. Her, so she got hit by a car and can't walk. The vet pretty much told me most people would euthanize their cat at this point. And a lot of people are telling me I'm crazy to not euthanize my cat at this point. But they gave me pain medicines and I've scheduled her surgery, which is a hefty, hefty price. So I just put a GoFundMe on, which I feel super guilty about because I hate asking people for stuff. But I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that people will help. I am just like going to film this whole thing because I feel like cats get hit by cars a lot, unfortunately. I feel like cats get out a lot. And I think amputating it, cat's limb is scary as hell. Like, I'm freaking terrified. So I was like, I'm going to document this as the least way I can give back to everyone that's, like, shared her and story and everything and donated. So here we go. I'm going to document, like, how she's doing. So she's a little loopy on pain meds right now. She thinks she can fly. But this is Bridget. She has her wet food right there. Hey, B. You ready for surgery? You have four legs right now. It's going to be your last week with four legs. Yeah. So, that's where I put her litter box in the back of the kennel. I put a bunch of blankies and everything so she can get cozy. And, yeah, she's just snuggly. She's feeling good. She's so happy. She hates other people. She's super close to me. So, I think she was really freaked out because she did not like the girl she was with as much. I don't think because she is... She's happy. She's a happy girl. Hi, baby. So she's comfy. She wants to run really, really bad, but 
the pain meds make her feel like she doesn't have anything wrong with her and it would be bad for her to run. Hi baby. That's my girl. Uh, 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 stay. You want your ears scratched. So she's in my room. I'm literally sleeping right there. Laundry. Yeah, she just gets to watch me all day. Her litter box is back there, so she doesn't really have to travel. Then I give her a little bit of water. They said to watch her water consumption, just so she didn't have to pee a bunch, because the meds can make them have to pee more. And they didn't want her to have to, hi girl, have to get up a bunch to go potty. Hi baby. We're on our way for Bridget to get her surgery. She wants to get out so bad. But she, she knows something's going on. She doesn't know what. Hi, I'm with Bridget. Um, she just got done with surgery. We're gonna see if she wants some food and water. Two hours later. She still doesn't seem very interested. She's kind of moving around a little bit though. Um, I put paper in her litter box. Um, because since she has a huge incision, they said she could get hurt or infect the incision if there was bacteria um, from the sand or the particles get up in her incision. So, she has paper in her litter box, but she's just kind of scooting around right now. She was really mad before. Tequito wants to steal her food, so he's just chilling out right there. And, fun fact, Tequito and Bridget are best friends, so he really wants to sleep with her and steal her food. She still wants to get pet a little bit, but I'm not trying to bother her too much. But she was purring a little bit earlier. I just can't believe we have a three-legged cat, and they kind of pathetically shaved down her tail, which I get for the surgery, but they left a little poof at the end, which I would show you, but I don't want to make her uncomfortable. So she's trying. So, it's Friday, the day after Bridget's surgery. Um, Bridget is okay. She has stood up on her leg and I realized I've been so stressed about everything that I haven't been filming. She wouldn't eat or drink the first day, which they said was normal, <laughs> but still stressed me out quite a bit because I'm her mom. So I went to the store, tuna's her favorite, so I got her some tuna and she ate that a little bit and had like two sips of water, so I feel a little bit better. She just got pain meds and she was screaming in her kennel. She wanted to get out. I think she could, she could see the dogs on my bed and she is a very doggish cat, so she usually hangs out with my dogs all the time and is part of their pack. She goes everywhere with them. So I decided to let her out. She stood up a couple times and balanced on her leg and then laid back down, and now she's just chilling with my dog. So Taquito's her best friend. This is TT. He's really struggling to keep himself away from her. So you can see he's like shut down because she's right there. Hi, Bridget. Bridget. Hi, B. She's right there, and Taquito wants to go snuggle with her. Cider's here. Hey, Cider. What are you doing? Is that a camera? What are you doing? Cider. All the dogs are confused because I'm making them all only be allowed up here if they're laying down and not going up to her. Just because they usually kiss her and hang out with her. But she's doing a lot better today. She's comfortable. She's groomed herself a couple times, so. It's pretty much just a process of keeping her the most comfortable and balancing her getting out and not going stir crazy and then balancing her resting. So I'm just gonna take her out a couple times a day for like 30 minutes where she's just laying down but still with her friends. So she doesn't absolutely hate her life. Um, she usually has a cone on because that's her incision and we don't want her to lick it but I want to give her some time with her cone off so she can eat and drink if she wants to and also because she doesn't really like it so if I'm watching her I'll just make sure she's not going after her incision but I have to put it on every time I'm not watching her. Okay so it's Sunday, her surgery was on Thursday, we're watching football with her and today was the first day she was really actually excited to get up. She was meowing in her crate and everything and now she ran out of my room into the hall and jumped on the couch all by herself. So today's the first day where it's like she's getting used to her one leg. Right, princess. Hey, girl. 
Oh, it's a pretty kitty. It's a pretty Just kitty. Hey, girl. Hey, pretty girl. Oh, so I'm going to put her back in her kennel. She just stood up and went under there. Bridget, you need to rest. Come here, B. So you can see she's standing a little bit. Good girl, Bridget. Good girl. There's some tuna on the floor. I can wash that. Um, she just wasn't wanting to stand to get to her bowl, so I put some on the floor for her. Oh, Bridget, you're laying in the tuna. You're laying in the tuna. Oh, what are you doing? Good job, girl. Good girl. And Taquito is still in between my legs. Sad. Hi, Keats. Because he wants to go snuggle with his friend and he's not allowed to. There's Cider. He's confused. There's Oxer. He's jealous of Cider. Oh, yep. They're brothers. So it's day five. This is B right now. You can see she's standing and walking pretty well. Kelly, call her. Bridget, come here. Where my dad's closet. Bridget, did I just get rejected? Hi. Yeah, you can tell she's pretty happy. Feeling a lot better. She likes her shoulders scratched. <laughs> And her hair is starting to grow back a little bit, but she's slowly starting to get around. Good girl. That's the best. Thank you so much for watching. If you're getting your cat's leg like, amputated or had a similar situation, I promise you, like I was so scared and I wish there was more footage out there. So that was my point of documenting everything. But the recovery is hard the first week and then it gets a lot better. Bridget is a fighter. She did super well. I think she took to it better than most cats or cats just do really well with three legs. So we were extremely lucky that she was saved she it was painful watching her get better but now we know she's gonna have a good quality of life so everything was worth it and yeah it was definitely crazy crazy couple weeks but she's back on track she's starting to get brave again and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video so let me know what you thought or if you've had any crazy scares with your cat before down in the comments below thank you so much for watching talk to you soon if you comment i'll talk to you bye